Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss another important and a very tricky uh, scenario for interview as well as a very important scenario for real time also because you know often many times you know we uh, come across this uh, you know scenario where we have to implement this in our dashboard so the scenario is showing your current year sales and previous year sales side by side okay so it is looking simple but the trick here is or the requirement here is like you know the date should be same here so we are doing showing the date for the current year that is the trick that we have to you know solve here that is the puzzle okay so let us get started so before we do that if you are new to my channel please do subscribe share and like okay and let us get started so i am connecting to the standard data source called as sample superstore and let us try to write the calculation here so now the challenge here is let us take the order date and see what all the data that we have got so here we got uh, 2018 to 2021 okay this is the year of data we got and i'm trying to write the data for current year current year sales so now the challenge here is when i say current year sales so the assumption here that i am considering is 2021 is my latest year and 2020 is my previous year so now i have to write a calculation to get current year sales so so first we need to find out how to how can i get my 2021 or 2022 how can i go there so what i'm doing we have to come from the very base so base is like you know how can we get the year so i'm considering my base as a today today is my date so in real time we will assume that you know with respect to our you no know, data we will have uh, with respect to our date we will have data so i'm considering today as this and i'm considering year from my today so let us see what we are getting here apply so if i go and take this current year sales and drop it here on label it is giving us a 2022 why because we are in the 2022 okay now we want minus one because we want to go back to one previous year now it is giving us 2021 fine so now it is matching so let us write a if statement because we got the current year if year of today is equal to this and year of so i'm matching this year with our audit date so now what will happen this 21 from our order date will match with 21 from this date and whenever it is matching then it is bringing me sales and end it simple okay now on top of this i want to do some if you don't want to do here you can directly drag and drop the field it will get aggregated but i am writing the aggregation in the calculation so it's up to you how you want to follow now you see this has failed why because the aggregation of this has failed that's why so just take this and drop it again here now you see you got sales for your current year which is seven double three two one five perfect so now let us duplicate this and write it for previous year so i'm editing this and i'm writing it as previous year sales so now simply because we already have this as current year i am directly doing minus two so if you have data for 2022 you will do minus one here okay so click on apply and let us just drop it here. okay i'm taking this and maybe i'll drop it here and i'll make it uh, let's say this rate now you see okay let let us take this also and drop it here okay now see the challenge here so what is happening here it is displaying our previous year sales in 2020 which is correct but our requirement is we want this value to be displayed here 
okay now what i am doing is i am writing an lod expression here to fix it at fixed uh, i'm writing let's say day of order date comma month of order date this and i'm closing my lod expression here at the end and on top of this i'm writing aggregation again now let us see how the result are okay now we got the result here but if you see it is displaying for all of this here values now the challenge here is we want only for this and we don't want this right so that is a challenge so for that what we can write is we can write a uh, date filter here and i'll say like year of same order date minus 1 is equal to year of order date simple click on apply okay and you can take this filter uh, field on filter shell okay we are getting false let us just check this why we are getting false so year of okay so i wrote it year of order date it should be actually today minus 1 apply okay now if i take this field and now consider only true that's it now you see our current year sales and our previous year sales we got both of this i can drop it here as well and we will get the value let us adjust it now we got this but i can again use simple double quotes and write as previous year sales okay i can hide this if i don't need it. your current year sales and your previous year sales i hope that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if you like it please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye